Somebody's healing of a right shoulder condition is hereby confirmed. I declare the healing of this right shoulder. The healing of this right shoulder. Satan, take your hands of the right shoulder of this person. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands, everybody. Lift your hands. Please be focused on God. Lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands, and focus here. Soon come up chocolate. God has something in store for you. He has a healing for you. He has a deliverance for you. That left eye affliction is being healed right now. Father, we give you the praise. Father, we give you the praise. That sickle cell anemia is being cleared out right now. That conspiracy against somebody's life. Conspiracy against your life, conspiracy of death, I declare the conspiracy is scattered in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. You will fulfill your days. The enemy will not take you out before your time. In the name that is above every name, that occultic manipulation will no longer work. God is speaking to everyone here, but it's a lady with a name that starts with a C like a Clara. I declare today, that satanic conspiracy over your life, satanic conspiracy over your destiny, satanic conspiracy against you is hereby cancelled.
lift your hands everywhere you are. And when I say the name of Jesus, you place it on, your, on yourself and scream, I receive. And then receive what God has in store for you today. Father, let it flow. Let the fire flow. Let the power flow. Let, let, let the releases happen. Let the healings take place. Let the deliverance take place. Let the liberation take place. Let the breakthroughs take place. Receive the touch of God right now. In the name of Jesus. When I say the name of Jesus, one, two, three, you scream, I receive. And you place your hand on yourself. Father, let it be. In the name of Jesus. One, two, and then three. in someone who's under very intense financial pressure. Tonight, God is intervening in your case and turning around the life, your, your story. The Bible says, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. That is what is happening to someone here. You believe that? Say it loud, amen. There is a sin name also that came here with afflictions on the breast. Pain, growth, lump. Name starts with a C that God has just handled. Check it. If it's a lump, it's gone. If it's a pain, it's gone. If it's a sensation, it's gone. And quickly rush to the front if you are that person. God has also uprooted a hyena from somebody in Queen Oxcota hyena and Bilekal hyena. Thank you, Father, because it is done. Somebody's right shoulder is healed. I take authority over that right shoulder affliction. Give the Lord a celebration as they, as they step forward here. Wherever you are, wherever you are, quickly step forward. Something happened to you. A sin name with an affliction. God healed you. A shoulder condition is healed. Umbilical hyena, inguinal hyena is also healed. Give the Lord a big clap. Celebrations as a couple. You are God. You are not just healer. Please sit down. The rest of us sit down, please. You are a now we have to pass it. You are God. You are not just healer. You are not just healer. Said his name is Ank Anoku, a Nollywood actor. He said that he had a, um, a power bike accident. He had what? He had what? A power bike accident. He had a power bike accident some two years ago and dislocated his right shoulder. That that shoulder had um, terrible pains. He felt until he came and here. He had to move. He had to move, and but he just lifted, and all pains had disappeared. Every sir. pain is gone. Move it. Yes, sir. Ank Anoku. Are you just looking like that? See what the Lord has done for Give the Lord a prayer. You are taking away my sorrows and I got my prayer. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Jesus. Hey, that is above everything. Jesus. Freedom. God give you understanding <laughs> thank you for watching this video we know you have been blessed please share this video to reach others also click like and subscribe to this channel thank you i hope you all enjoyed the video and i hope you saw the powerful thing that our god can do you have seen how popular nollywood actor hanks we all know him i i remember i watched one of his videos where his name was uh, chike and one of my favorite uh, movie of him is uh, a movie called the crusader i i love that movie so much and i'm happy that he was able to get his healing at uh, Dunamis Church. You see, our God is a wonderful God. He, sometimes I hear people who still doubt God or who still have doubt about God. But I want you to know that if you put your trust in God and don't doubt, He is never going to fail you because He said in His word that He will never leave or forsake us. He said we should call unto Him in times of trouble that He is going to answer us. I am happy that our brother Hanks received his, his healing and deliverance because you see, it's not easy going through certain um, predicaments in life. When you are going through certain things so it is easy for you to doubt god but i know that with what has happened right now there is nobody on earth that will go and convince this young man that there is no god because the bible made us to understand that it is only a fool that will say in their heart that there is no god i'm sure that sometimes evidence cancels every argument evidence defeats every argument or every doubt you may want to have if this young man uh, he was having any doubt in his heart and i know that god have cleared all that doubt because of what he has experienced if you tell him that he will come over there and then get hit he might probably not have believed you i know that people might have been giving testimony that oh i i went here this happened to me i went there that happened to me and he might be doubting you see until i encountered jesus and i understood what jesus can actually do i was once like uh, some of you living in doubt living in disbelief thinking that there is nothing like a miracle but one thing is sure we serve a god that still performs miracle we serve a god that is able to do far above all you can think or ask for according to the power that is at work in you if you just can only trust god just trust him and just leave the rest for him I know sometimes it's difficult. You might be going through a difficult situation. You might be asking, God, where are you? God, where are you? I want you to know that God is ever ready. Just open up your heart and tell him, Father, take control. I, I give myself to you. Come in and deliver me. He is going to deliver you. If he can raise the dead, if he can heal the sick, I'm, I'm telling you that your situation is, is nothing. It's too small for God to answer. All, just, all what you just need to do is to trust him. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not in your own understanding. David said, some may trust in chariots, others in horses, but I, I am going to trust in the name of the Lord. That is, That should be your attitude. That should be your attitude. You say, okay, despite what is happening, Father, I am going to trust you. Despite all what is happening, I am not going to have any doubt about you. I just want you to have that mentality, that mindset about God, and then watch him do wonders in your life. Watch him transform your life. Watch him like a change that situation that you think is impossible because i know one thing for sure there is no impossibility with with god when it comes to god all things are possible the bible says that with man it is not possible but with god all things are possible and that is why you must trust god when he said trust me you really need to trust him you really need to trust him forget about what uh, you have been hearing on the internet what people have been saying this that 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 see the internet can make you feel that there is no god forget about what you are seeing around forget about the situation you are seeing the bible says that why we look not at the things that are seen he said that those things are temporary that is why you shouldn't look at them 
all those things you are seeing right now, the money you don't have, they are temporary. The sickness you are going through right now, they are temporary. All those things that are, are like causing you stress, they are all temporary. So the Bible is telling us that we should not look at those things that we can see because they are temporary. Whatever you can see, I want you to know that it is subject to change. All you can see is subject to change. God can do it. God can change it in a twinkle of an eye. If it only you can just believe. Look at what has happened to our brother. He's a very powerful testimony. And I'm sure since he's a celebrity, his testimony is going to at least go a long way to convince people that there is God. Just a few days ago, I saw that Rotomi Amichi gave his testimony at Omega Fire Ministry talking about how Apostle Joseph Suleiman helped him win election. Those are the things our God can do. Those are the things our God can do. Just trust him. There is nothing he cannot do. There is nothing he cannot do. There is nothing like hopeless case with God. When it comes to God, eh, no situation is hopeless. No case is hopeless. He can tackle every case for you. He can help you get out of every trouble, every challenge you might be facing. All he just wants from you is to trust him. Just put your trust in him and then watch him in action. Put your trust in him and watch him in action. That is that is all our actions to do. I, I want to say I thank God to the Almighty God for healing our brother, for restoring his hand, for like giving him that deliverance that he needs. Because it's not easy to be going through sicknesses and disease. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. If you have been sick before, you will know the challenge. Let alone being sick or for having an issue, a medical issue for years. It's, it's not easy. We, well, let's not even talk about the money you'll be spending and, and all the rest. So it's not easy. So if God heals you like this, He did not pay anything for it. He did not give anything. Then man, you should you should appreciate God. He should give you enough reason to thank God, to worship God, and to come closer to Him. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do not to subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell so whenever I post another video, you'll be notified. If you're a returning subscriber, I want to use this opportunity to say thank you to you. Thank you for stopping by to watch our video. We love and appreciate the support you have been giving us on this channel. May God bless you. May God reward you. May God supply you as you have been supporting us on this channel. God bless you. I will see you in the next one. You are blessed. Mm -hmm.